I'm just going to do a little video on assembling the leveling box on the Massey Ferguson 20 industrial tractor I have here. Now, this did not turn at all. Um, yeah, I really had to belt it. You can see the rust and that coming through here. I really had to belt it to get it apart and punch pins out. And yeah, I nearly burned the edge over there, so I've tidied that up. So we're going to pop it all together now. Um, I had to bead blast inside there. Um, you can see the rust pits up through the back, but that doesn't make it work any less. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll go fine. So we've got, all I want to do here, um, I will replace this grease nipple. Now, what happens with these at times, and this one was the same, this cap had come off, and where the pin goes through here and the, the knuckle, um, it sits up in there like that. Um, this cap had come loose and of course the weather got in there and the moisture goes in so what happens is people pump a heap of grease into here um, thinking they're doing the right thing but in the end the pressure builds up that much that it pops the top out and lets the rubbish in. So, so what I'm going to use is CRC red lithium grease um, extreme pressure performance protects against rust and corrosion so what more would you want and look at the colour of it. Just bloody beautiful. I think that would be a nice colour for a car, wouldn't it? So, um, so what I'd like to do to start with is um, I have the bearing here. I have a new bearing. <laughs> That's the old bearing. You can see what was left of that. and uh, You can see where I've had to get the screwdriver in to get this. This piece was jammed in the bottom there. and wouldn't come out. So I have a new bearing here. And... The new bearing is a Spar S537. So all I like to do here is, at the start, is just get a bit of grease on my finger and work it into the roller bearing. So that's the bit that does the work mainly. Um, there's, a, there's a bearing here. So um, because this rod here is hooked to the linkage arm, this bearing takes the whole load of the implement um, so I like to put a bit of grease in there keep that in good nick and that should help out now eh? now to put it in I'll just wipe the grease off my fingers so to put the bearing in you can see it has a, a flat side and it has a, a, a tin side you know and you can see the tin comes around the corner here the tin goes down into the into the hole and then this fella comes straight down on top all the way to the bottom now what I should have done there you can see it's come up there with it so the bearing sits there like that I'm going to put a little bit of grease on here I should have done that originally I'd Skip my mind. So that goes down there. And this shaft here, this is the pinion. So the pinion comes in the side here. And you can hear the crows outside today. So the gear sits down like that and then the pinion comes in there and because the handles come through hooked to the pinion you can see how it turns in there like that so, so what we need to do is pop this out pop a little bit of grease on there so that's a bit of grease for where it just goes into the housing here just to lubricate it and a big blob of red goodness inside there and the way that's held in place is this shaft comes through from this way and 
there's a pin that knocks through the back there, so into that hole there. So we'll pop a pop a little bit of grease around the shaft here and where it goes through the gear. And the point of that is just for lubrication. So that'll go through there. And oh, get in there. And it shouldn't be that easy to push it in. Now, this is the pin I knocked out of it. We do need to turn the handle and get the handle and the pin in line. So we can probably hold on to it like that. starting just there. So I'll get my little knockometer. Yep, look at that. That's just coming through there. So what I'll do with that is I'll support this at the back and I'll put a center punch into the center of that. Now with a center punch, it, look, it doesn't take much to hold it in. There's no real load on it. Um, what I have done in the past, if, if I've had to ruin this pin, I have put a roll pin. And so I put a little roll pin in there. I just put a little bit of wire through the roll pin. That works okay. Um, we'll pop him back in here. So you can see now that's turning nicely. You can see the shaft. Well, you can't actually. I'm telling you, bull. There you can see the shaft turning. That's nice and free. Beautiful. I will replace the grease nipple, but probably just not just now. Now this Welsh plug, this is the old one, so I've put it on top of an old, a big old nut I've had, and I've, I've domed it again, which would have shrunk the outside. So to seal this up, for that to go in there, I'll just use this pin, I think. And that's enough, that's enough to seal it up. So now, this goes in, now I think, I think we go this way. And that goes through there. And we pop a split pin in. So look, that's it. That's all you need to know about that. Um, you need to lubricate this a little bit, but um, you don't pack it full of grease, even though there's a grease nipple on some of them, you don't pack it full of grease or um, the grease can become like a grinding paste and not be the best. Um, but if it's got a grease nipple and people do flush them out, you know, give it a wipe and flush it out, so entirely up to you. So yeah, that's just a little quickie on the levelling box on the Massey 20. I'll go and put a grease nipple in and put a new split pin in here and um, Yep, we'll call that job done.